Good afternoon. My name is Maya Antor. I'm Chief Curator of Contemporary Art here at SMK and I've curated the exhibition Double Soul by Hei Yu Yan. Hei Yu Yan is living and working between Seoul and Berlin as a legal nation and she's been exhibiting extensively throughout the world. She has represented Korea in the Venice Biennial back in 2009. She participated in the Documenta exhibition in 2012. And she had a lot of solo shows all over the world. Most recently at Roma in New York, Museum Lugli in Cologne, and Santa Tate's Empires. Hey, you will share with us some of the ideas and intentions that have shaped the show that you're going to see in a minute. I think the dog as a term was uh, in my work for a long time. Uh, just sometimes the dog appeared as a couple or a half or something or the siblings or something. It just manifested in different forms and terms. But there is the idea of the pair form next to the idea of the one. And you could also say there is the one and there is the rest. I think when you see the exhibition, there are different, let's say, manifestations or embodiments of the double. So you could see it is a meaning of two different things together. Also, you could see how oh, that artist is interested in showing the connection, which is mostly a bit hidden, and how one is not only one and more than one. And here, just one small addition is the double is not necessarily the number two. It could be three, it could be indefinite number, but something that goes beyond the idea of the wholesome original one. And you can imagine there are artists who work on one technique or one material for life long. And they kind of work towards a certain mastery over techniques and material. They become kind of champion of certain uh, aerial category and field, etc. And I'm someone who kind of want to stay a bit clumsy and just you know, try hard, but I think I'd rather avoid of championing or mastering something because you know when you achieve certain mastery, it gives you freedom, but at the same time there is no agonizing relationship. And that's one answer that I can give as a kind of sculptor who work with the physical material. And the other part of the uh, answer is I sometimes do not think that I do have an initiative to choose this or that or idea of um, encounter with the material or story. They actually come to me. So it's quite a determined and dictated by the encounter. Sometimes I do like, making a deliberate search, but often it feels more like, you know, there is an encounter that I stumbled upon. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart and on behalf of the Coalition and thank you for dedicating yourself uh, into every so one of the uh, historic artists that Heyu has been interested in and also appears in the work in, in the exhibition uh, is the avant-garde composer Lee San Yun. Yun was Korean and spent uh, part of his life and career in Germany. And because of this interest of yours, we have invited uh, the quartet and the Leas Sinfonietta to perform one of Isanyo's most important pieces. And inspired by a mural in Korea, on this painting, 
you'll see a red bird, a phoenix bird. You see a white tiger, a black turtle, and a blue dragon. Hence the red suits and suits of the musicians. Please welcome the Quartet Ateliers. <laughs> 